According to a recent New York Times report, Brian Williams has fallen from the 23rd most trusted man in America to number 835. 835! That's 812 spots. That's pretty far. But as the 836 most trustworthy man in America, I say that that's not far enough. I say that he can fall farther. Now I know what you're thinking. Me, Michael Kandinsky, more trustworthy than an American news icon? Kandinsky's the guy who blames his elevator farts on other people, and who's defaulted on his last two Best Buy credit cards. Well, I might be the kind of guy who just runs the water and rubs his hands on his pants after he pees. But I never lie about seeing bodies in Katrina or taking enemy fire in Iraq. So what if I pretend to listen to music when homeless people ask me for money? I'm also the guy who waters the office plants. And I'm usually, but not always, the banker when we play Monopoly. And did you know that I'm a Zog sports referee? Co-ed basketball, 3 to 6 p.m., weeknights, 92nd Street. And Mrs. Reynolds, in 4A, she leaves me her key when she goes out of town. Because I'm trustworthy. She doesn't leave Brian Williams her key. So what if the plants died a few weeks ago, and I don't call fouls on cute girls? But when I steal money from Monopoly, I only steal 20s and 50s. I never steal 500s. And when Mrs. Reynolds goes out of town on those AARP cruises she loves so much, and I sneak into her apartment to watch MasterChef Junior, I always bring my own snacks. I've never lied about being part of a war I wasn't part of, unless you count Baskin Robbins on Veterans Day when I wanted that free ice cream cone. So just trust me a little bit more, America. Michael Kandinsky, the 800, actually 912th most trustworthy man in America. Come on. I'm Mike Kandinsky, and I approve this message.